Our reporter Tess Brunton is outside the hospital in Invercargill and joins us now. Hi Tess, what is the latest there? So we're actually just about to watch a Southern Lakes helicopter take off. They've put a few bags in there, but otherwise uh, haven't been speaking to media. But we had two helicopters arrive um, just shy of an hour ago, and um, all three men walked in for a checkup in their bright orange flight suits. Uh, injuries are unclear, but they all did walk in, and uh, it seemed like they were having a bit of a, a joke on the way. So it, um, from what we're sort of seeing, it looks like they're in pretty good spirits to uh to be rescued so uh so soon after an, an ordeal so unaided they were able to get out of the rescue chopper and walk themselves into the hospital they all walked themselves there was not a stretcher there was not someone leaning on anyone else it was just they all walked in um like like you'd, uh, you'd hope they would Remarkable. Hey, do we know um, what's happening next, where they're headed? Is that chopper there to take them home? No, well, as the helicopter has only had um, one person enter it, it uh, doesn't look like this is their ride home. And at the moment, until they've had that checkup, um, it's not known where they'll be going. We understand that some of the, the men are from Piano, so it will just depend on when they'll be heading home. Thanks so much for joining us. That is Tess Brunton, who's outside the hospital in Invercargill. As she mentioned, the three men rescued from that chopper crash are there for a checkup, but walked unaided from the rescue helicopter to the hospital.